This podcast was originally live streamed on the Non Sequitur Show on YouTube. New episodes air weekdays, Monday through Friday, at 8 p.m. Eastern at youtube.com slash non sequitur show. Make sure you never miss a live stream by visiting www.nonsexshow.com slash schedule. For the latest news, polls and updates throughout the day, follow us on Twitter at nonsexshow or facebook.com slash nonsexshow. That's N O N S E Q show. If you'd like to get exclusive content, buy weekly private hangouts with Kyle and Steve, backstage access to chat with guests after shows hosted on your channel and much more, become a Patreon saint of non sequitur. It ensures we continue to improve our show and brings you into the process at the same time. Visit patreon.com slash non sequitur today while the limited spots are still available. The following podcast is intended for those who believe bold ideas are righteous, unique perspectives are gospel, and strong opinions are sacred. This is non sequitur. Never follow. And now, here are your hosts, Kyle Curtis and Steve McRae. Magnum P.I. and Higgins here. Couldn't resist. I'm Higgins. That's, that's, <laughs> that's right. Clearly, I'd be Higgins, um, right? Okay. I want to make sure I got my role right. Uh, we wanted to start out. Uh, uh, we're going to start out tonight with um, a, a very, very, very quick smoking nun section, and then we will get uh, to the guys from the What the If podcast who will be diving in with us to simulation theory. Are we in a simulation? Uh, that would best explain Steve, I think. It would answer a lot of questions as to um, really? that side of the of the windows. But uh, mm-hmm. today, Paul Agia released a video discussing the uh, replacing Darwin debate that we did on uh, on this channel it, between Dr. Herman Mays and Dr. Nathaniel Jensen from Answers in Genesis, and uh, it was a really good debate. I think um, uh, there was there was a an interview that they did with Dr. Jensen on Answers in Genesis News uh, last week in which uh, Dr. Jensen tried to explain some of the reasons why he think it didn't go so well. And so Paul Agia um, assembled myself, Steve, and uh, Herman Mays, and uh, John Perry from Stated Clearly, a bunch of us in his latest video. And I told uh, the Twitter sphere today that you know you've made it when – Apology, it turns you into a cartoon character and puts you in one of his um, videos. So we're going to play a real quick clip from that video. And um, to see more, uh, uh, Steve, if you'll put the link in the description of um, that video, go check it out after uh, after this. Uh, you will not regret it. So without further ado, here is Apology's latest video. They did on non sequitur. Somebody said non sequitur. Oh, hey. It's Steve and Kyle from the Non Sequitur Show, the hosts of the debate. We've arrived. Paul, you talk about actual science on this channel. There's no need for me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here either. Don't ask me. Everyone just shows up. But Dr. Mays is here with me, so I think we got this covered. <sighs> I told you, Steve. But since when do I listen to you, Kyle? Henry Morris. <laughs> and he doesn't listen to me, ever. I don't. I really Not ever don't. does he listen to me. Uh, it's cool. I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you what Kyle just said about arriving. You know, I said about arriving and what he said. You know, to, to be on Paul Gia's channel is such an honor, and to be cartooned by him and immortalized is just beyond words. Um, you know, we've known Paul for a very long time. He's you know been a great friend of our channels, and I, I love his content. And so that uh, that is probably obviously going to be one of my favorite videos on his channel of all time. Not just because we're in it, but I think the, the quality on it and just the content of that particular video is so good. I think it's as long as too. It's like 50 oh. minutes. Oh, you, I love that video. Well, that I mean, he's it. got so many good videos. Stop it's really it. hard. So maybe I am biased, of course. I mean, we're, I'm in it. <laughs> it's me. But it's really a good video. I mean, it, the video is exceptionally well done and spot on. Well, let's get to our guest this evening. Eh, Gentlemen, 
<laughs> it is. <laughs> it is good to have you back. For those of you who don't know, uh, these are the uh, the guys from the What the If podcast, awesome podcast, and and um, I'm going to let them explain kind of what they do because they could probably do it way better than than I could. But uh, the concept is amazing, and we had an amazing time when they came on last time. We talked about flat Earth, and um, the people seem to really love the uh, the sun hole theory. I think that's what the uh, the best part of the <laughs> Uh, the talk was so um please gentlemen let everyone know who you are where they can go to find your podcast and um why you guys do what you do and before you do let me just say this each of these guys if you uh, i tried to put uh their um kind of i guess their resume or their descriptions of, of each individual in the description of this uh video and just to let you know it's so extensive and so impressive that i could not fit <laughs> all of it into the description because I ran out of characters. So um, these two guys are, are serious and they're funny and what they do. So uh, please, gentlemen. I won't speak for Matt's resume, but I can say that a lot of, most of mine is just junk, like junk DNA. You know, it's just, there's only a few things that are, that are actual, that are real, verified. <laughs> I'm Philip. But, but like <laughs> DNA, it gets copied over each time, right? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I, I finally changed out of Palatino font and uh, <laughs> deep cut, deep cut everywhere. I'm Philip Shane. I'm the host of uh, What the If, uh, as uh, Kyle so kindly said. And uh, I am a documentary filmmaker and a consumer admirer and, um, yeah, of science. There's a third thing that I am, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. You're, uh, he's not even lying. I just put the link in, and your rise is like CV is like, like that long. I couldn't barely fit it in. It's so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Matt. Uh, Matt Stanley. I'm a historian of science at New York University. Uh, I think of myself as a science educator, and I like to tell stories. Excellent. Uh, and you actually are a science educator, if I'm not mistaken. Like professional. I do my best. Yeah. Right. So I, I should point uh, out to you guys that that, that that sun hole theory that we had developed during that program was actually utilized was awesome. by a group of people that actually had – and I don't know if this was a coincidence, but it seemed like a hell of a lot of coincidence because the model they used in a virtual uh, program was the sun hole model that we had come up with. So I don't know if it was a coincidence, Wait, no, but I... you know they watch our stuff. But it, it, was, it was a group of people showing that if Flat Earth was the case, this is what it would kind of have to be, and it had <laughs> sun holes. So oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Inspire people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, we what, need to find out what, where what? so we can get royalties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Car, 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 Car modeled it. So, I mean, again, it could be just coincidence, but I thought it was kind of strange that it's just a few days after we did our thing, Car is modeling this exactly the same model we came up. It could have been a just, again, mm -hmm. coincidence. So, but she's very good at modeling. Nobody. It sounds, like one, those, <laughs> it sounds like one of those, it sounds like one of those, like, weird, janky, roadside attractions you'd see in the the abandoned part of route 66 you know turn right for the oh, sun sure. hole. yes yeah, stop and that. you have to call it yeah. the sun hole i don't feel i don't feel like any other name yeah. would, would would be it's gotta be called the sun, hole. <laughs> the sun hole where the sun do shine yeah uh for just I, I guess for those of you who are watching and don't have any clue what we're talking about i'll i'll sum yeah. it up really quick basically we decided that if, if you're on a infinite plane of a flat earth and we see the sun come up and the sun go down, that means that on an infinite plane, it would have to have a hole that it goes into to loop back around and then come back up again. But we went got to have a hole, that, didn't we? we and uh, it, it may be that it's a like a cutout because it couldn't be just a hole because the sun moves across the sky depending on the seasons. So it's, it well, literally no, it's, it's would, like Swiss cheese. It's like a new yeah, hole every yeah. time. Yes. Or yeah. just, you know, we're just... But exactly what oh, I was that's that interesting. Hole, and they, hole, yeah. And yeah. eventually the entire radius around us will be like the sun will eventually cut through the entire thing and that'll be the apocalypse. Right. Yes. <laughs> like, you, like, you, run, you run out of land. Yeah, you run out of land. Right, the like, earth is gonna be every it's gonna be everywhere. Yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of dolls Like in the everywhere. cartoons when you see the cartoon character and then somebody uh like Tom the cat is up saws and then yeah. Jerry the mat yeah, saws around and eventually it falls. Yes. Out. 
Uh, That's excellent. Uh, now all you have to do is pick a date. Um, just uh, pick an apocalypse date, and you will officially right, yes. have started your cult. <laughs> That's a uh, step one. That's I right. Um, that's so, right. <laughs> and there is no step. The what two. the if cult. <laughs> the what the if yeah, cult. Exactly. I could. I could. Be well, I, I could add. Yeah, for sure. I can add that. Um, I, I, I think you, you you kind of started to say, but what 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 we do on what the if is, uh, rather than you know just for instance, rather than reject ideas out of hand, out of ordinary, or, uh, you know, unusual ideas. Um, ideas at the edge of science or beyond. Um, rather than just shut those down, you know, one thing that people in the um, pseudoscience or, or whatever uh, category will often protest is that if you're a skeptic, um, which I confess to be, uh, we're, we're not open-minded. And even though Neil Tyson has a wonderful phrase, he says, we should be open-minded but not so much that our brain falls out. However, um, what we do is we say, all right, let's take that idea. All right, if you said there's a flat earth, for instance, or perhaps we're living in a simulation as tonight, um, let's see what that would really mean using all the science that we do know, right? Um, so... You know, what would that have to be? So, like, if the sun, if the Earth were an infinite plane, the sun definitely comes up mm -hmm. from somewhere, and that's where you get your sun hole. Yep. So we'll take whatever Excellent. crazy that idea we so feel dirty. like and run with it. Mm -hmm. God, that sounds dirty. What yeah. What's the weirdest? What's What's the the strangest idea that you've um, applied this to? It's just, it was Ooh, just so bizarre good. and out there. Oh, good question. Well, I don't know about strangest necessarily, but I know that one of the ones that really sticks in my mind as spectacular was when we said, what if space were filled like uh, with air and you could swim in it? Oh, or, yeah, and you, you know, could just you, swim out there. That was fun. Yeah. You could navigate it. And so then we said, well, there would be, cre you know, it wouldn't just be people that could go out there. The entire biosphere would have... Uh, Migrated yeah, out to space so and evolved. Space whales and space algae, all yeah. kinds of good stuff. Uh, I'm yeah. worried about space bears. Yeah. Space bears, I think, would be yeah. the just, just no, no, no space bears. Some, just pu yeah. punch them in the nose. Punch them in the nose. Oh, good, good advice. Uh, well, wait, they no, they wouldn't need a spacesuit. I was going to say you couldn't do it through the, the spacesuit, but bears wouldn't need a spacesuit if there's air up there. Mm -hmm. yep, well, no, exactly. that's the idea like they, that nobody be, would. Do it. See, what we're experiencing there. now is something, talk about weird things. So one time Matt and I were doing a show and Skype was really causing us trouble. And so there was a huge delay between, you know, us talking and we were always out of sync. So we said, okay, today's what the if is time dilation. What if you have a <laughs> I was going to suggest that, blah, blah, blah. but I figured that's where you're going. Yeah. Like yeah. We're yeah. a little out of sync. We're, a little out of, we're out of phase with each other in the same spatial temporal dimension. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, 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 dun. for sure. Oh, guys, the Feynman diagrams for this head. show are out of control. Um, so we, after the following the, the flat Earth, what the if episode, uh, I thought about a theory that I think is fascinating and one that um, you can really, I think, dive into from all sorts of angles, especially doing you know using this method, the the simulation theory. I think you can really have some fun with so um i thought we would do that this evening and um at this time i'm gonna pass it over to you guys and take us through simulation theory all right cool all right so Matt, should we like you are you are made of bits bits <laughs> Well, what you see of me right now is bits anyway, right? Um, sometimes it's helpful to make sure we're all on the same page about what a simulation is and sort of the, the basic parts of it. Is that cool? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Clarify your terms. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because it gets thrown around a lot. Um, basically, I, I think the, the core of a simulation is uh, a set of rules and some kind of device nowadays is usually a computer that carries out those rules, usually over a period of time. So 
uh, Minecraft is a great simulation, right? So it has rules like everything is 